Dear friends, this is my tutorial 46 in VASP and a fee for VASP. Okay, in the tutorial you are going to learn. So, generating a STEM, STEM images with VASP and fee for VASP. Okay, this is the graphene uh, STEM image generated by using uh, VASP and fee for VASP software. Okay. So, I will tell you the step by step approach in order to get your STEM images. Okay. First, to do the geometry optimization of your system. Okay. Okay. Then, do the DOS calculation. Okay. This is the second step. Uh, then, third step, you have to do the partial charge densities calculation. So, here you have to uh, create your encore file for uh, partial charge density. You have to put the DOS calculation folder. Okay. After that, DOS calculation completes, you have to put that, uh, remove that DOS in car file and put the partial charge in car file on the same folder and just to do the calculations okay then you will get the partial charge densities then uh, we can get our stem images using p for vasp okay this is the step just you follow this one okay so i will show you that uh, uh, files in car files for uh, this dos calculation and the partial charge densities okay and i will tell you how to generate stem images using p4 wasp so this is the step 2 actually this is so actually says step 2 means the dos single point calculation this is step 3 okay so step one is you need to uh, do the geometry optimization using a VASP. So already I made one video how to do the geometry optimization of uh, your uh, material. Just to follow that video, you can uh, do it easily. Okay. So now yeah, I will show you the in-card file for the DOS calculation, especially for the STM calculation. Okay. So this is the output file actually I have done already using my supercomputer. Just I will show you the in car files and also um, post car also. Okay. So this is the in car file. Just to open with Notepad plus plus, you will see the your in car file. So th this is the in car file for the DOS calculation. Okay. So just you follow this in, in, in car file. Okay. So here you can uh, see here. LVHAR I mentioned it too. You have to put this is very important and also you have to put L orbit level in order to get your DOS car file. Okay, so this is the very important. Uh, maybe uh, most of the uh, tags are the default tags, that's why I did not mention here. Okay, this is the important tag need to mention and uh, do the DOS calculation for the stem analysis. Okay, okay, then we will see that uh, post car file for this one. Okay open your vista um, just to drag that uh, concord this is the optimized one so this is the graphene system i'm going to do the uh, stem and uh, stem analysis okay so this is the things so k point also i will show you so here i use gamma point 1551 okay so the k point mesh so and also you can see the port card so this is the for food car only carbon only is there this is the port card for this carbon okay so these are the important file you should keep with that so after completion of uh, this calculation you have to do the partial charge density calculation so actually what i here did i take this uh, folder and I change into the name step 3 so i have put that and uh, you can see here so I removed that uh, old in-car file for uh, DOS calculation. I put here the uh, new in-car file for uh, partial charge density calculations. Okay. So the same same file, everything same. Don't change anything. Just you can change that in-car file only. That's all. Okay. So this is the in-car file. So uh, this is the partial charge density tags. Just you can use this tag is enough. Okay. So just with this tag, you can run the, uh, your uh, uh, partial charge density calculation. So other parameters are default parameter, no need to mention. That's why I did not mention here, okay? So VASP automatically take that uh, default parameters. So this is the important parameter for partial charge density, okay? So you can use this in car and you can uh, submit this calculation and you will get the uh, new in output files here, okay? So then you, you also get your 
Vesper and XML file. This is the very important file here. So you, you can get this uh, step three. You can we can use this uh, Vesper and file for our stem image generation. Okay. So so we will use that uh, P for Vesp uh, in order to we can generate uh, stem images. Okay. So this is the P for Vesp software. So we have installed in our system. So just double click. So it will open like this. Okay. So now we have to load our XML file. Okay. Vesper and XML file. Okay. So for that, just uh, click open and uh, go to your corresponding uh, folder. Okay. So go to my folder C drive here and uh, we'll go to the stem folder, STM folder. So click that one. So here you can see stem graphene folder just you can see step 2 DOS calculation and step 3 partial chart density okay if you click it will show the listed uh, file in that folder okay so now you can uh, find your uh, vesperan.xml file so this is the vesperan.xml file just you can highlight this one just you can uh, click ok okay now our file is loaded here just you have to click this so here also some uh, many things is there so you can see here you can see stm just click this one so it will open like this small folder small windows like this under this also will show the uh, the control panel of uh, this stem okay so here you can see different kind of things here you can put this stm mode constant item mode okay this is the one you can click so this is a raw and linear you can leave it this is the tip orientation if you want to click a y axis it will show y axis so if you show x axis it will show so you want z you can click z we always need z axis only leave it like this this is the tip position so tip position you can give 0 0.5 or 1 okay so i will give 0 0.5 just uh, type under uh, click enter okay that's all so here you can see cell replication so this is very important so we can replicate into six if you want also you can uh, replicate more okay no problem so that's all then here you can see the structure view so if you want you can see the structure that atom present in that okay you can see here so if you don't want just click it no need that one this is the our stem image okay so this is the one and uh, other things are default parameter no need to change here anything okay just leave it as such so so if you see if you alter here it will automatically alter okay so if you put uh, if you want to one you can click one okay just to type one and enter it will show like that i think this is not good so you can change into change into 0.9 also okay okay so this also fine so if you want also you can adjust this parameter and you can which one you want just you can choose this also somewhat good okay so in this VESP uh, program the examples also they have given some things at uh, stem images so if you go there you can find that uh, stem images graphene stem images so if you see this image so this is somewhat better okay okay we can use this image okay just rotate it so how do you want just you can rotate and uh, so keep your uh, perfect orientation your desirable orientation okay i think this is enough so just in decrease this size or you can also increase okay so if you want also increase uh, 8 and 8 I think this is okay just you can use this one so I think yeah I tried to save this uh, 
picture from this option i could not find anything so that's why i i took that uh, snipping or screenshot in that uh, hole okay so i will use a snipping snipping tool to get that picture so okay i could not find the saving option in the in this thing so, okay just i will just select like this okay so this the our file save just you can copy and paste it over file okay that's all so our uh, stem images are ready okay you can also try this kind of things uh, some other system and uh, try to do it yourself okay okay so thank you for watching my video if you like my content please like subscribe comment and share and also please the bell icon for future video update thank you thank you so much enjoy